Hi, I'm QDC. We're about to build today is Tamiya's SAS Land Rover, the Pink Panther. And this is um, in 135th scale, and this was first produced back in 1976. So this is a classic kit. And the reason why I'm building this particular model kit is because of two reasons. The first reason is because of this uh, vehicle's unusual color. This is the first time that I've ever known that a vehicle, a military vehicle, is painted in pink. And the reason why this particular Land Rover was painted in pink is because of the region it was deployed in. This particular vehicle was deployed in the Middle East in the desert regions and the soldiers found out that if they paint their vehicles pink, the color pink is the best camouflage for that particular area. And also I, I bought this particular kit was because of its unusual nickname, the Pink Panther. The soldiers nicknamed this um, vehicle the Pink Panther not only because it was painted pink, but during its time when this vehicle was in, uh, was in active service, there was a popular movie series and cartoon series called The Pink Panther. Here's a picture of some movie uh, posters from the time era when this vehicle was in active service. Take a look. I'm not entirely sure that the soldiers nicknamed their vehicle the Pink Panther because of the movie series and cartoon series, but that's my best guess. Let's go start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the wheels, the body, of the car, the chassis, the hood, and the instruction sheet.
All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the completed model kit before painting, and this is a very nicely detailed um, Land Rover from Tamiya. The guns are impressive. It, it does look realistic to me. The tires look very nice. And overall, this is a very nice detailed um, truck. It is a little bit difficult for me to build because a lot of the small parts. Um, if you're a beginner and you like this particular vehicle, I would encourage you to build it. But it's going to take some practice for you to actually handle with small parts. So um, I would recommend that you use a pair of tweezers. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint my model. I already gave the entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm going to use my airbrush and paint the entire model with the main color. I'm going to make some chip paint. What I have in my hand is a brush that's dipped in black paint. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chip paints where I think there's going to be um, chip paint. It's time for me to do some pin washing. I already gave the entire model a coat of future floor wax to protect it. And what you see right over here is a cup of um, brown artist oil paint mixed with mineral spirits. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give my entire model a pin wash. I'm going to give my model some dust effects. I'm going to spray the entire model with a tint of buff color mixed with white. I'm going to add some dirt. What you see right here is a pastel chalk and I'm going to use my brush and simply brush on the undercarriage to give it more dirt effects. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and now it's time for me to show you the entire model kit from the beginning to the end. Take a look. This is the computer model kit after painting and weathering. And this is a very nice model kit from Tamiya. This model kit, like I said earlier, was first produced back in 1976. And this is a classic kit. Knowing that this was um, first produced back in 1976, this is, to me at least, is a very highly detailed model kit. This was a time before computers uh, was used to make model kits and so everything was calculated by hand and the molds were made by hand. So given those particular facts this is extremely well detailed that rivals really, really even today's model kits that, that are out there. 
It's highly detailed with very nice wheels, steering, um, steering wheel interior, a nice um, bed and guns. You really can't go wrong with this model kit. It's a very nice model kit that Tamiya has made. Excellent. That completes this model project. What you're about to see is a video slideshow of the entire model kit. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there is a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC, thanks for watching, and always, please, have a great day.